Out of Foley trying to put on a bit of pressure there, but Cross comes in and it's well cut out at the near post. It's broken back again. It was a really good effort there. It was Connor Carty who was causing problems over on that far side and probably disappointed Paul he didn't keep that one down. Yeah, he's cut it well, hasn't he? He's just got under it a little bit. He's really hit it here. We'll see a replay of it now, but he's just got completely under it. It's just flew over the bar. Could. Listen, I'm sure he's just saying that to the both of them. Stop pulling each other's jerseys and swap after the game. <laughs> it happens every week. Here's Marky with the corner. First one of the night for Drogheda. It's in towards the back post. Lions gets a right hand on it. Just about manages to claw it away. Drogheda still have possession. No one. Rooney plays a great ball back in. And Adam Foley! Oh, what a finish that is. What a goal from Adam Foley. A sensational strike. A sensational ball from Dale Rooney. And Adam Foley, one of the sweetest volleys you're likely to see, Paul. Yeah, I don't think Linus gets enough on the punch. There's a crowd of bodies and he punches into the wrong area straight onto the edge of the box to try and punch wide, you'd always say. But Rooney just takes a chance and clips one around the back post. Adam Foley will not catch a body or sweeter than that, i tell you what. Here is again, Linus comes out, doesn't quite get enough on him. And the header away on the edge of the box breaks to Deegan. What a ball that is from Dale Rooney and Adam Foley, right foot into the corner, no chance for Linus, didn't move, 1-0 draw to United, and swinger this time. Again, plenty of bodies forward, and it's a, well, it's a foul on, oh, well, it's a penalty. penalty. Well, it looked like a foul on Connor Keeley, it looked like no one to the last minute of this first half, a big moment for Andrew Wogan, saved from Louis Annesley in the Jim Malone Cup, it's a much bigger occasion here, can he do it again? It's rolled in by Chris Forrester, no problem to him, and it's 1-1. Drogheda United really not happy with that decision, but the referee had no hesitation. And we're all spare here, Paul. We said, could they get the half time? And they haven't quite managed to do it. And Pats are right back in this game. Yeah, 44th minute. They'll be absolutely bullying that they've let them back in. And the way they've got back into the game, Kevin Doherty will be livid. And whoever's responsible for it will, will get it in the neck at half time because we've 44 minutes and nearly 45 minutes on the clock. If Chris Forrester stepping up, I don't think we'd any doubt that he was going to be calm and composed. And he waited till Wogan moved and he just slotted in the other side. To Strada eventually. I don't think the assistant referee was quite sure which way that was going to go. And it's into Draper in space inside the box. Can he find a bit of support? He's got Lewis at his back. Back to Weir in towards Markey and it's come off. McCormick's broken to the back post to Foley. He just couldn't keep it down. Well, it was it comedy of errors in defence there from Pats and Owen Doyle is back and he's not happy at all with what's going on, he's just uh, giving his defence a little bit of a G up but 6 and 7 there from Pats and Drogheda almost capitalised Yeah, you just think it's going to fall for Ryan Brennan firstly and then it just spins to the back post where Adam Foley it's probably a bit harder than it looked originally but you see Draper does well holding it up Weir clips it in Yeah, Ryan Brennan looks like he's going to get in the end of it just still think Adam Foley you want to drive that along the ground to draw the centre back but his clearance is a poor one it's only gone as far as Breslin he can put this one into the box he does Keeley gets it away breaks back to Adam Murphy a great chance for him and he just drags it across the face of the goal a really good opportunity for Adam Murphy one goal to his name so far this season he wasn't able to double his money there but it was a good opportunity Paul he just didn't maybe settle himself enough before hitting that one yeah he probably just has a little bit more time than he thinks you'd see it now Breslin with the ball in falls nice on the edge of the box from to take takes it down well just doesn't set himself right and he's just disappointed doesn't work the goalkeeper back stick the header is there and it's cleared away and uh, surely that's going to be it Darren Markey is in a real battle for possession there because he won it he has there's a chance for draw to here 3v2 Ryan Brennan is making the run over on the left hand side he slips it to Dale Rooney he's going to be on his right foot he knocks it back to Markey can he get the chance off? can he bury it oh. he scored he scored draw the United have won it with the last kick of the game, surely incredible stuff. He did say it a bit late drama in this game this season, and it's happened again. I asked, time him, I asked him three or four times in the game to take responsibility in the box. I tell you, that's taking responsibility. And Dara Markey, just one goal last season, none so far this year. The former St. Pat's man, an absolutely incredible finish this game the referee looked like he was going to give the free kick here played the advantage that's you the thing the ref for that Pat's players are going mad because he nearly puts a whistle up to his mouth to give it then he lets it go Dale Rooney they have a lot to do did really well the first time pass back to Marky who was so composed and finished the pass line as what an incredible end to this game we've had chances at both ends either side could have won it 
the, the energy and the fitness levels with these counter attacks in the 94th minute for the amount of games they're getting through but the composure then from the lot of them you wanted Dale Rooney to be on it because you know we'd be composed in them areas and there is the fault that have won this at the deck an absolutely sensational finish to the game St. Pat's players surrounding the referee they're not happy I don't think the Toronto players were too happy a few moments ago either it's been one of those games but an absolutely unbelievable finish to this game Paul from ourselves from myself David Sheehan and from Paul Crowley it's been an absolutely cracking game here it hasn't ended the way St Pat's fans would have wanted draw the fans very happy indeed but what a game we've seen here at Weavers Park that's just about it from ourselves for this evening we hope you've enjoyed watching listening wherever you are in Ireland or the world and we will speak to you again after that mid-season break when we've all had a chance to catch our breaths have yourselves a very good Friday evening and a very good weekend